Okay, so we're up in a roof space here. And when you're in a roof space, they're pretty dark. This is a modern house, so it's actually got a, a light installed over there, lighting up all that area. But it's very restricted because of the joists, the light doesn't get around a lot. Um, I'm working over here, putting a fan in and um, just putting some framing and so forth. But it was it's only um, 20 degrees, or, or sort of in the vicinity of like 62, something like that, degrees outside. But when the sun hits the um, black roof tiles right here, um, it gets really hot up here really quick. And something, a, a skill to learn is how to slide a tile on your house. Um, if you see here, some of the tiles have got these little bent over bits of wire. They're like a nail that goes into the um, the beam here, the joist that holds that in place. And normally every second row of tiles will have those nailed in and holding that tile in place. Holds the roof down, stops it from sliding. But every second tile doesn't have that. Um, so you can actually lift them and slide them. You'll see from the construction of this tile here, it's looking a bit black, so it's too bright. Here we go. There's a lip on the front of it and that actually lips down over the edge. So you have to lift the tile um, at the front. So if I was lifting this one, I'd be putting my hand here and lifting that up, um, lifting it and then sliding it back up. So just make sure this one is actually nailed. So you don't want to slide that one. If there's a particular tile, you can pull those nails out, uh, but put them back when you're done. Um, and sliding the tile up, like I've done there, gives you a little slot. It does a couple of things. It lets in a huge amount of light. Um, lighting up the whole area as much as a light globe does. That's one. Um, two is it lets in a breeze and cool air and lets the dust out. It's so much nicer up here. And three is it lets all the heat out. Um, so if you're going to be up here working, and as I said, I've installed this beam and I'm going to be doing electrical connections and you know some fittings for a fan, um, then I'm going to be here for a while. So to make it light, make it cool and make the air better is absolutely worthwhile. Just a few seconds it takes to slide the tile and when you slide it back in place, you'll see they're all lined up. If you look along there, you see those concrete edges are all in a line and sitting down on the board there. Um, again, just there, you see that lump on the tile? That's what's holding it from sliding any further down and gravity's doing most of it holding in place. So again, that's a tile that can be slid. You lift it at the front, pick him up there and then slide him back. So one hand under this edge and one hand lifting that and slide the tile back and it'll slide back and uh, give you an opening to the outside world. So there you go. That's how you slide a tile and um, get some work done under the house. Again, if you're installing like a, a whirly gig, those sort of things, and I will be doing one of those on this house, uh, then you need to slide a tile and um, make a hole and then um, stick in your lead and your steel to replace the tile and put the whirly gig thing. So look, have a look. I haven't got that yet, but I'll put a link up there when I get everything all linked together as to how to install that so you've got this constant fresh air and coolness in your roof space um, rather than just when you slide a tile like I've got at the moment.